Are you thinking about learning Python? Microsoft Python Development Professional Certificate course on Cosra promises to take you from just being a beginner to a pro. But the question is, is this worth your time and money? How does it affect you as a cybersecurity professional? Of what benefit is it to you? In today's video, we are going to break down what the certificate offers, who the certificate is for, and where I can help you land a job in tech. Let's dive into it. So what is Microsoft Python certificate? So that's the first question. This is a professional certificate course offered by Microsoft on Cosra. It's designed to teach you programming, automation, web development, even cloud computing. If you want to check out the course, you know, how it looks like straight away before we even go deeper, you can check the link in the description, in the video description below. You'll see the link to you know sign up for the course on Cosra. You know, so you can check it out today before we even before you even go ahead into watching this video. It's structured as a series of six courses, and you can complete them in about four months if you study for about eight hours every week. Now, what are you going to learn taking this professional course on Costra? You are going to be learning about Python programming fundamentals, which is the basics of coding using loops and functions. You are going to learn on another course which is data analysis and visualization Python. So there you work with pandas, matplot library, and the real world data sets. Then you're also going to learn have you take a course on automation and scripting with Python. You're going to learn how to write script to automate tasks you know, and work with APIs. You're also going to learn web development with Python. You're going to learn to use Flask and build small web apps. Another thing you're going to learn is advanced Python development techniques. You know how to optimize codes and explore cloud-based applications. Then finally, you're going to deal with uh, project development with Python, which is a final capstone project. So everything you have learned, you're going to apply it to develop, you know, or apply it in an hands-on you know, project. Remember this channel, we are very big on hands-on skills. So this is an opportunity for you to learn how uh, to perfect an hands-on skill. So if you want to check out the course, you know, the link in the description, will take you to the course on Cosra. Now, who is this certificate for? This certificate, you know, is good if you're an absolute beginner. If you're starting or changing career, this program is structured in a way that it's easy to follow. And even if you have some Python experience, you can use it to level up or learn real world applications like automation, data analysis, and cloud computing. It is especially great if you want to build a portfolio because the final project will help you to create something tangible to show your potential employers. Now, is this course recognized by employers? Definitely, it is recognized because Microsoft is a big, you know, is a big company. This is one of the biggest questions people always have. Will this certificate help me to get a job? You know, when people want to take a course, this is one of the first things that come to your mind. But the truth is that Python is high in demand across multiple industries there's literally no industries where you will not find the use for python you know python programming and according to linkedin python related job posting have grown about 30 percent in the last two years so learning python is a good deal any day especially in this time we have so many companies use python for automation and even as a cyber security analyst which is one of our key emphasis on this channel python comes in very very helpful and very handy in data analysis and even AI development. So having this certificate can boost your resume, especially if you are transitioning to tech or applying for entry level roles. Now, is it worth it? Let's look at the pros and cons of taking this course on uh, Microsoft Python development, you know, professional certificate, taking it on Costra. Now this course is structured, is beginner friendly. So if you are a beginner, you don't need any prior experience. If you are switching career, you don't need any prior experience. You can start from scratch. Then this course is Microsoft back. We all know Microsoft. Microsoft is one of the biggest tech companies around. So it's one backing you know, this course. So it has credibility to your resume. Then hands-on projects. You can actually build things and not just watch videos. This is what you actually do when you take this course on course. course. By, the head, by the head of the course, you have hands-on projects that you have worked on. And the course is self paced so you self paced so you can learn at your own speed. You don't need to be under too much pressure. You can learn at whatever speed which you are learning. The downsides of it or the cons of it is that this is no instructor-led support. So 
you rely on forums and destruction you and you can also interact with you know some sometimes you interact with uh, someone that can help you there now then it's not as in-depth as a computer science degree although it covers the fundamentals but doesn't go too deep inside then it requires commitment so you're going to have to dedicate about four months of study so you need to stay motivated so it requires commitment now how does it compare to other you know python courses now we are going to look at uh, other python courses on udemy so on costra if you are taking a course on costra remember the link is in the description you can check it out you have structured learning you have industry recognized certificate and you take course on costra on costra and you are able to do hands some project on udemy if you take a python course on udemy it's cheaper yes you have more variety of you know, people taking or taking this uh Courses they are instruct. I mean, people packaging these courses on Udemy, but there's no official certification. The certification you get on Udemy is not official. It's not as recognized as what you get on Coursera. In fact, most courses on Udemy you may not even get any certificate except for the instructor that just give you you know something. Now, if you another alternative is YouTube tutorials. So on YouTube, definitely you get your hundred percent free you know tutorials. It's great for quick learning so if you want to quickly learn something sharply you can you know start with python i remember my first course that i take on python was taken on youtube so but there's no structure and there's no certification so sometimes you just take a course you start a video on youtube and then you are waiting for the completion or you may not have the concluding part of that you know that uh, course so it's not structured and it's not certified and it's not it's most times it's not, it doesn't come in any particular order so the advantage of taking a course on Costra or taking your Microsoft Python development certificate course on Costra is you have structured learning, industry recognized certificate, and you are coming out with handsome projects at the end of the day. So you can check the link in this video, you know, for signing up. Now, if you want a guided path, an official certificate from Microsoft, Costra is a great option. Remember, Microsoft is the one issuing this certificate. But if you just want to learn Python for fun, you might just prefer other free resources. So the question is, should you take this course? Should you take this Microsoft Python development course on Coursera? So my body, absolutely yes. You need this course is good for you, especially if you are a beginner. It's structured and credible way to learn Python. If you want to boost your resume through, absolutely yes, because this is Microsoft back. You have your Microsoft certificate on your resume. And if you are looking for a quick advanced course. No, if you are looking for something sharp, sharp, you just want to learn. No, because it's going to take you about four months to conclude this course. So this is a solid starting point for a Python career. And since Coursera often offers free trials, you know, sometimes you can get free trials. You might even get free vouchers sometimes. So please check the link in this video right now and sign up for this Python professional development, you know, professional uh, development course on Coursera. You know, if you are in some regions, you might even get as low as 40 as, as high as 40 percent discount sometimes get 50 percent discount on signing up for course wrap plus so check the link in the video description so have you taken this course or you have any other python learning resource you want to recommend it please drop your comments in the channel if this video has been helpful to you please like the button or hit the like button and then share with your friends and if you are new here please subscribe for more tech cybersecurity content you know,